Just so much to think about. There's the team, the tactics, the course. You just have to ask yourself, have I remembered everything? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lenny. Happy birthday to you. Yeah! Well done! <laughs> Lenny, 28 today. How are you going to celebrate? Yeah, of course, I'll try to win the race. So I hope uh, Rune and Jens and Alan can help me to, to do that. You think they'll give you a, a, a race win as a gift? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wouldn't believe them, Lenny, because I don't think they will. Anyway, Lenny's giant team are leading in the team classification, ahead of the British Olympic squad with BMW Proflex third and Team Rally in fourth place. A very different course, this one here at Rochester up on Medway. They cover eight laps of a three-and-a-half-mile circuit. The ups and downs, yes, but largely on open countryside. One or two trips through small pieces of woodland. Very narrow trails, which will not give a big opportunity for overtaking. And the difference in elevation, only around... 10 metres, so the climbs themselves not too steep. But the rain has just started to come down. The good news is that Debbie Morell on the right here is going to ride after retiring down at Petersfield and let's see what she can do now against Caroline Alexander. The women move away ahead of the men. The first person back, be it man or woman, at the end of this opening lap, Russ will take £100. Yeah, this is a great incentive for the win with this big prize. But what I'm worried about with all these riders, it's just started to rain, it's a chill in the air, it could possibly snow. Have they got the right tyres on? Well, I hope they have, Russ. They certainly had no time to go back and change them because the rain coming down just as the gun went for the off. And Caroline Alexander back into her stride straight away. The incentive, of course, yes, the £100, but she wants to break clear of the field as quickly as possible. Windos has made another good start up into second place. Well, Caroline said she didn't like this circuit, but she's gone off for quite a start. Happy smiles for the birthday boy, Lenny Christensen, who's a minute and 51 seconds behind his teammate and race leader, Runo Hoydal. There's BF Varble, number 10. He was in yellow, and well, now he's back in his team strip. He lost that lead yesterday uh, to the man who now leads Runo Hoydal. The men go. If they want the £100, Russ, they're going to have to get a move on. Yeah, but the trouble is these men are uh, two minutes behind the ladies in the way Caroline started. She started with great force. I think the men will have a lot of trouble. So, Barry Clark's made a good start. He's got away in second place. I think he was behind Beat Warble, who's gone out of the blocks with determination. Massive field as they roll away in the men's event. And now, look at this. The pressure on right from the gun. It's Matt Guy, it was, who was first away. He's improving with every race. Yeah, this is a great start by Matt Guy from Formby and Merseyside as he's really got them all stretched out as we come to Caroline Alexander in the yellow jersey and just look at the elegant pedaling style of Caroline. I'll tell you what, Lewis, you see the narrow trails here. There's no real opportunity on this course for riders to get by. Alison Windos still keeping Caroline Alexander in her sight and Louise Robinson there in third slot. And as you say, that just looks like a little slip there by Barry Clark. Uh, Barry Clark's on the front. He's got the whole string just strung out there. So it's Clark, Matt Guy slipped back into second place, the yellow jersey of Runa Hoydal, and an attack from Lenny Christensen. So the birthday boy moves very quickly up on the outside, over the top of Barry Clark. Now that's the way to attack from three or four men down. Yeah, it's a great show of power by Christensen there as he goes in and out through the Orchid Woods on these little lanes here. He's really got them strung out. Looks like Barry Clark. Barry Clark's actually taking a different route through there. And it's perked out because, in fact, Clark has come right back up behind Lenny Christensen. And that looks as though Mac Guy is hanging on nicely to third slot. The yellow jersey not on that lead group of three at all. So, it looks as though the yellow jersey, there he is going through in sixth place. He's lost a bit of ground. I'm surprised at that because Christensen put in a good attack. Uh, but he's left his teammate and race leader off the pace. Well, there could be a few reasons. Why he could have tired legs, which is very easy to have. Or it could be just a choice of equipment. Maybe he's got the wrong tyres on. Maybe he just slipped into the wrong gear. We're back to Christensen again on the front. He's actually looking down. And what's happened here? Christensen's gone right off the course. He's got a problem. Yeah, it looks like it could be mechanical. It looks like he's trying to get his back wheel out here. He's in all sorts of trouble. It must be a back wheel punch. He's got his wheel up. He's trying to indicate to a teammate. He's looking for one. It looks like one stopped. It looks like it's the Englishman, Alan Gunner. But even so, lost a little bit of time there as we go and rejoin the ladies. And first person on the course with a chain off is Caroline Alexander. 
Remember, there's £100 at the end of this lap for the first person over the line, man or woman. Louise Robinson running up now towards Caroline Alexander and behind her is Alison Windos. They're the first three women and the first three people on the course. Away goes Lenny Christensen now, leaves Alan Gunner to solve the problem. That's the big difference in multi-stage mountain biking. You can share equipment with a teammate, whereas normally you must mend the tyre yourself without any help from anyone in a single-day event. Now, it looks as though Caroline Caroline Alexander has recovered her chain and is again giving us a demonstration of sheer strength. Yeah, I'm really impressed by Caroline Alexander. Every day, every stage she rides, she just gets to the front and puts the power on. Hopefully later on in the year, she'll be bringing back an Olympic medal. Well, Matthew Guy down here is dancing through the tail ending of the women as they try to catch up with the runaway leader in the women's event. And here is Deb Morell on the left of our picture. Now Deb is looking to be a lot better off after the problem she had with her right leg. But of course the penalty for not finishing stage one has left her right out of the overall competition. Matt Guy just ahead of Runa Hoydal in the yellow jersey. That's a good lead for Matt. He really is gaining in confidence. So the first time up the climb, it counts towards the peaks competition. A lot of men now are beginning to mingle with the women. And through the finishing line has gone Caroline Alexander. So too is the 100 pounds. As we see Matt Guy go behind, he's in second place on the course, 32 seconds behind Caroline. So very shortly now, the men are going to have overhauled all of the women. Yeah, Caroline's gone away like a hare to get this £100 first prize, the European champion. Just look at her face, she's covered in mud there, she's really giving it fantastic effort, big effort here. Well, this is the race here for 8th place and Beat Warble, rider number 10, just ahead of Gary Ford there. Now, back to Matt Guy, he's the leader in the men's race and the yellow jersey's got right back up to him, Runa Hoydal. Barry Clark also on terms and this looks like the battling David Baker who's got himself into 4th place. David's struggling to find his form. Yeah, and this is young Matt Guy, remember he's 21 years of age, he's really coming to form. We did a great ride last week with fifth place in Petersfield, he's not frightened of these big riders. All right, and look at the gap that they're now building up for us because we go right into the depths of the trees and the dancing figure of David Baker, who was virtually unbeatable in mountain bike riding until this year, but he's going to the Olympic Games and I'm sure he'll find his form when it matters. But there's the rider on form, Matt Guy ahead of Runa Hoydal and Barry Clark, the British champion. This is one of the few places on the course, although it's downhill, where the riders can actually get to grips with each other, Russ, and pass because this course is very narrow. Yeah, but the only problem at the bottom of that descent, there was actually a log they have to jump as well. So we go back to the three leaders again. And here's a hill they have to climb, and because of the slippery conditions, and I think that Hoydal's got the wrong tyres on, he's having to run up that climb. Here's Louise Robinson, second in the race, and second overall, remember, almost nine minutes behind Caroline Alexander. So she's still on form to hold that second place in the competition. Very difficult descent that, and coming straight out with a bounce, the yellow jersey of Runa Hoydal. He's having a real problem hanging on to Mac Guy. Yeah, I think as you said before, the problem is actually with the tyres, because in the afternoon, these riders, they walk around the course to check all the little holes and actually do a little ride, but I think he's got dry weather tyres rather than wet weather tyres, just like in motor racing. Now that looks to me as though Beat Warble from Switzerland is crossing the gap up towards the three runners. It is indeed. Well, I would think these conditions will suit Warble today because he's a former junior world cyclocross champion and he's getting pretty muddy out there. Yeah, it's very muddy out there. It's also cold and wet and sticky. And just over the hill now is Lenny Christensen, second overall at the moment. But he's way down in the field, Russ, about 11th slot. I make him just at the moment. An awful lot of ground to make up after that flat back tyre, despite the fact he took a wheel from his teammate, Alan Gunner. Well, we've got the four leaders coming through towards the end of lap number two. There's the gap, 21 seconds, with the cool Mac guy on the front, followed by Runa Hoydal, British champion Barry Clark, and Beat Varbel in fourth place. They're going out onto lap three, and we'll take a break. Hi, my name's Caroline Alexander. I ride for BMW Klein. And my tips are stay safe, have fun and always wear a helmet. <laughs> 